What up YouTube, Bow Bow here with a brand new movie review. This time of the one, the only, Avengers. And here's my ticket. Okay. I saw the Avengers this Saturday. Holy crap. This movie is awesome. This is the greatest superhero movie I've ever seen in my life. It is amazing. Just saying it right out of the back, this movie is just flat out amazing. It will blow your expectations away. I was worried that this movie may suffer from who would get the most screen time, how the action scenes take place. It, it was perfect. This movie was perfect. Well, a few nitpicks, but anyway, the movie just is a great movie. It's amazing. Um, one of the best movies, that, the best movie I've probably ever seen in my life. It's just flat out amazing. Um, so, let's talk about some of the things I liked. Um, everything. I liked everything about this movie. Um, the casting was great. Everyone they picked, the people they picked to play the superheroes were just perfect. The guy who played Thor, Iron Man, Hulk. Hulk did a really good job, I will admit, and they got his face perfect in the uh, special effects. Iron Man, Nick Fury, perfect. The guy who got, they got to play Loki, perfect. Um, probably the story was the be was really good. I really liked how they played out the story. I liked the interaction between the superheroes, how they don't just immediately get along and become friends, no, they fight. Um, so you get a fight. The fight scenes were great. I mean, the fight scenes with Thor, Iron Man were great. The, the one with Thor and Captain America were great. The final fight scene was just flat out awesome. Um, the Shintari, by the way, the I thought that was really good because the Shintari are, alien, are techno-organic aliens. So I think having them instead of the scrolls, because originally they were supposed to be the scrolls, um, but then they went with the Shintari. I thought that was a good move. Um, I thought the aliens actually looked pretty cool. I also liked the cannon arms. I thought that was really cool. Um, the new heroes they added was Black Widow. Black Widow was kind of an Iron Man too, but he, not really that much. Um, and the Hawkeye. They, I didn't touch on them, but those guys played the roles perfect. I liked how he was brainwashed, and then he got not brainwashed. That was kind of clever. I also like how they did the arrow pack. I thought that was really clever. I liked the bow design. I thought that was cool. Um, Hawkeye in general was a really cool character in the movie. He really didn't have anything in any of the movies. But, um, yeah, so they did a really good job with him. Um, who else? Did they do a good job with? That's really all the main guys. They had a couple of other people, but they did. But what they got to play the heroes did great, fantastic. They flat out nailed the roles, in my opinion. Um, I want to talk about the final scene, and there's a few things I thought was really weird. I thought at least one of the superheroes would die, so that really threw me off that one of them didn't. But eh, it's okay. We love to see the heroes come out victorious in the end. Um, I kind of like how the news people are saying if the Avengers are heroes or a threat. I also like that. That was a nice little touch. Um, I f want to talk about the effects. I freaking love the effects. The, the effects were almost perfect. When I think of good effects, I think of Golem from Lord of the Wings, the Headless Horseman, Transformers. These effects were right up there. There was just one or two scenes that I thought looked fake. Like, when Iron Man's flying around the hill here, to me, that looked a little bit like an effect and not reality. But, that's just a nitpick. I mean, the effects by itself are just amazing. Like, when Iron Man was thrown out of his building, and his suit flew out, and then, you know, combined with him, that was freaking awesome. That looked real. And I love the new armor design. I like how it has all these big, giant... Uh, like, not big giant, but they have these big shoulder guards and then these little missiles that just go flying and they blow up everything. That was really cool. Um, I was wondering what War Machine was. I'm wondering why they didn't put War Machine in here, which was a little weird in my opinion. But, eh, we can let him slide. He's not really an Avenger. Um, I want to talk about the suit designs really quick. Uh, the Captain America suit looked really cool. Definitely get old school vibe with a bit of a new school design. That looked really cool. Uh, Thor's design was a little weak. I mean, it was just him. It was pretty much. I take my finger off. It was pretty much this figure here without these um, little things here and then a cape. 
that was really it. So not much in Thor's design changed. Um, Iron Man, of course, got the new armor. Black Widow stayed the same, had the same costume. Hawkeye, we actually got to see Hawkeye's costume. He looked really cool. I like the update design. That was a little weird how he didn't have a mask, honestly. But they still did a really good job with the costume, and it does look like a Hawkeye costume. I actually kind of like the uh, kind of arrow motif in the chest. That was a nice touch. Ha having it purple and bring out the old designs. Pretty nice. Um, <laughs> I praise this movie so much. I'm going to trying to think of what else. Um, hmm. I think I'll talk about the Cosmic Cube. It's it's the Cosmic Cube. I like what they did with it, but I kind of don't as well. I mean, when I first thought saw that they were just going to make an energy source, I was like, dude, it it changes all of reality. But then I realized. That would be too much. That could be a whole movie by itself. So having it just be an incredibly powerful energy source, that was also pretty clever. So hmm, I'll let it, I'll let that one slide. Um, so I thought it was kind of cool how they were trying to make weapons in the Loki store and put it in the staff. The staff was really cool, by the way. Um, I'm going to talk about one thing that really just flat out surprised me about this movie, was just how funny it was. I mean, this movie was not just epic. It was hilarious. I mean, there were scenes that were so funny. I mean, like, seriously, these, these, there are these scenes are so funny. You're gonna laugh so hard. Like, here's some spoilers. But one where the Hulk and well, the Hulk and Thor were fighting, and then later on when they fight again, you see the Hulk like this. He's like right next to Thor, and he just flat out does this with his fist. Just flat out, out of nowhere, punches Thor, and he goes flying across the room. And then you had one with Loki, because Loki could, you know, if he got this, the uh, spear into your heart, like, or touching your chest, he can actually make you turn uh, turn to his side. And he did try to do that with, with uh, Iron Man, and, he, and he's like, this usually works. And then Iron Man says, one out of two, one, what was it, one, five out of four, four performance issues, or something like that, which is hilarious. I like the one where at the end, Loki's like, I think I'll have that drink now. Uh, I like the one where he thought, well, Loki was like, so are you going to try to appeal to my emotional side? And Iron Man's just like, nope, I'm, this is a threat. He's just drinking. There he is. Um, one of the funniest scenes was with Loki, where he said, I am a god. I will not be crushed by a mirror. And, and then Hulk just picks him by the legs and starts swinging him across the room. Like, he swings him across the room into the floor and then just slams him into the floor. This, like, concrete... It's like a concrete floor, so there's like indentions of where he is, and he'll just gets up and leave. And you see Loki just lying there, and his face says it all. His face just says, did that really just happen? I mean, he doesn't say anything, it's just the face expression itself explains what he's feeling. Uh, or the one where Iron Man, like, we think he's dead, and I thought what they would do was give, have Thor um, electrocute his arc reactor to, bring, to get the energy back, because it was dead. All Hulk does is scream, and he wakes up. He's like, oh, God. I'm like, did anyone kiss me while I was gone? You know, like, mouth to mouth. That was hilarious. There were just so many scenes that was just flat out hilarious. You're going to laugh a lot during this movie. Um, what else can I talk about? I, I, I just keep praising this movie. Um, I'm going to talk about the things I actually did not like. Um, I did not like how Ant-Man and Wasp was in the movie. I thought that was really weak, in my opinion. I mean, Ant-Man and Wasp has been in every version of the Avengers, from the beginning to cartoons to the comics. So why would they end the movie? Now, I would have been fine with this as long as they had a scene, a reference, at least said their names. Nothing. So that is one thing I do not like, considering the fact that I really like Ant-Man. I mean, he's a really cool superhero. I mean, with the name Ant-Man, you think he's lame, but he's really cool. Um, Wasp. Well, same thing. She's pretty cool. I, I like the superhero, a actually. I like how she could fly, shrink, and shoot energy beams from her hands. Um, so I do like the character Wasp, but Ant-Man more. Um, a little thing that I really just flat out did not like, and it's a little thing, and it's just a little thing that makes the movie perfect, in my opinion, was that Captain America did not say Avengers Assemble. If he said that, that would have made the movie perfect, in my opinion. Besides Ant-Man and Wasp not being in there. So that was really weird that he didn't say Avengers Assemble. That was one thing I was really looking forward to seeing. I was just waiting for him to say Avengers Assemble and he just didn't. 
Uh, that's one thing I really did not like. Um, so that's really it. I mean, between the fact that, um, between the fact that no Ant-Man and Wasp and no Avengers Assemble, this movie is flat out perfect. I mean, it's hilarious, it is action-packed, you are not going to be bored. It's just a phenomenal movie. In my opinion, the people at DC are crapping their pants. Like, no joke, like, when they see this movie, they're crapping their pants, because they, they're going to make a Justice League movie, they're making a Superman, they're going to be doing a new Batman, a Wonder Woman, a Flash movie, and they're going to do a Justice League movie after that. Well, there's no way Justice League can be that, because Marvel is very action-packed, while DC is very thought-provoking. They ask the questions, and then do the action, which I actually find really cool, considering I'm a much older, more mature audience that enjoys a lot of thought and a lot of energy put into the action before we actually get to the fight scenes. How they analyze the situation, which is one reason why I love Batman. He always analyzes the situation and he fights really cool and has the cool gadgets. But um, the Avengers, they analyze it just a little bit to a point where it's just a couple scenes and then do all the fighting. So that is one thing that Marvel has over DC because they're very action while DC is very thought provoking. So DC, they're just crapping their pants at this movie. This movie is just amazing. I am buying this movie when it comes out on DVD. In fact, I'm not even buying They might release, if they release like the special like bonus pack with a lot of extra features, I'll buy that. Like I'll pay the extra $10 for that because that movie is so good. In fact, I might even see it again in theaters. Like I want to go back in theaters and see it again. It's just flat out that good. Um, so, this movie just gets a 10 out of 10, it's perfect, go see it, buy it on DVD when it comes out, it's just amazing. Alright, so this is the part where I'm going to talk about what happened after the credits, there are two scenes that happened. The first one, you see the leader of the Chintari race talking to a scroll, Thanos. Holy crap, it's Thanos. Lord of the Scroll Empire, wielder of the Infinity Gauntlet, that's awesome. Which means that the next villains in Avengers 2 will be the Skrulls, the alien shapeshifters. I mean, first of all, they can shapeshift, so they can mimic anyone in power on Earth, or anyone on Earth. Like, they did it with Captain America in the new Avengers cartoon. Um, Thanos was the Infinity Gauntlet, so he literally has the power of God. Except the Infinity Gauntlet, if you pay close attention to the Thor movie, the Infinity Gauntlet and the Eye of Agamotto from Doctor Strange was in the Asgardian arsenal, so we'll get some more Asgardian um, things with that. And let's not forget the fact that the Skrulls have the Super Skrull, which has the power of all of the Fantastic Four members. So they're pretty much unstoppable. And that's really cool, what they're doing. I mean, my jaw literally dropped when I saw Thanos. I'm like, holy crap, it's Thanos. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome for the next movie. The next movie is just going to be amazing. I cannot wait till Avengers 2. Like, I think they're working on the script and stuff for it. Man, this movie is just going to be awesome when, when Avengers 2 comes out. But we'll talk about Avengers 1. Now, after that, you had another scene after the credits, which was just the Avengers eating. Flat out just eating. Like, eating food. They didn't say anything. They don't do anything. You just see them for like two minutes eating food. And the credits are like ten minutes long. And you wait until after the credits. And boom, there it is. You waited ten minutes, which is two minutes worth of them eating. And my dryer's going off, so you may hear a lot shaking. I can't help it. I'll just talk louder. But anyway. So yeah, that was kind of lame, but still kind of cool. And then just flat, flat out seeing Thanos, which is freaking awesome. In fact, a lot everyone who saw that movie at my school, because like I got a group together of like me and me, Taylor and Kevin, and we went to see the movie. And when we got out, a huge group of people came in that we know. And after that, when when I went to school, they were asking me who who's the guy? What who, who is he? So that I had to explain to him that he's Thanos, he's the Skrull Empire, had to explain the Skrull, had to explain the Infinity Gauntlet, had to explain all of this to them. <sighs> Being a comic nerd does have its advantages. Anyway, so movie 10 out of 10, end of credits was awesome. Hope you guys enjoy this movie, leave a comment what you think of this movie in the uh, comment section, and I'll see you guys later. Till then, adios.